What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Up to now, 9,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away this Curiosity Rover. Before we know it, the, uh, let me get my get in it there. Curiosity Rover. All you have to do is go sign up for my website. If you're having trouble signing up with the caps code, just send me an email at Will Farrar, or Will at WillFarrar.net, and we will make sure you get signed up. When I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm just going to print out the list of names. I'm going to cut them out, put them into a hat, and I'm going to pull it right here on YouTube, pull it live. And uh, wherever it's from, I'm going to send that off. So we'll probably have to send it overseas. It all depends if uh, somebody from the United States wins it. But either way, you should have your over shortly. Um, like I said. But anyway, space news. I haven't done space news in a while. There's a couple cool articles today I wanted to take a look at. Uh, graveyard on the moon's far side welcomes NASA spacecraft. It's funny how some of these uh, these headlines kind of parallel some of ours who do the anomaly sites and stuff like that. To me, I don't know why I find that funny, but it's just interesting to me um, that somehow they do. But it makes it easier or harder for them to find our videos when they put out stuff like that. But all right, NASA's LADEE. This was the mission that was up there for a while. The Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer. LADEE slammed into the moon's surface as planned in the early hours of April 18th, bringing an end to the $280 million mission, million dollar mission that launched September 2013. LADEE's smash landing of the moon. Get rid of that. As far as surface is far from unique, said Philip Stoke of the University of Western Ontario in Canada, a space mapping expert who documents lunar and planetary exploration. Keep on going down here. There's a little video of it there. All right, the total six so far and no landers. Nothing else has landed on the far side, Stoke said. Those six are all American except for Okina, one of the little sub-satellites of Japanese Kag I forget how to say that, mission that orbited the moon from September 2007 to June 2009. So this talks about, uh, basically we we, uh, <laughs> we sent this thing in. They got a really good picture here that's got the uh, dumping ground. Check this out. I'm going to leave the link to it. It talks about all of, our, uh, all of our waste we've got sitting up there on the moon right now. All sorts of it. Um, Tycho, that's one of my favorite craters right here. This We found so much interesting stuff over there. Up around here, we found some interesting stuff. And all, oh, not too much there on the back side, huh? Interesting stuff. They actually, I love how they like actually lay it out here. Pretty cool. So I'll leave this for you guys, the link. And then also, Mars Curiosity Rover snaps first asteroid photo from the red planet. So I was right. If you watched my last uh, video about the uh, pictures of the moon, um, like the moons and, and sky from Mars, it's gorgeous what's gone. But this, they actually picked up, uh, they were they were taking the pictures of Phobos, and uh, basically they were taking pictures of moons up there. Um, NASA's Mars Curiosity rover has captured the first image of asteroids as seen from the surface of the red planet. Curiosity's historic asteroid picture of the Martian sky shows Ceres, I don't even say that, and Vesta, the two biggest space rocks in our solar system between Mars and Jupiter. These objects would be bright enough to be visible to a person with normal eyesight standing on the red planet. NASA officials wrote in image description. Oh, and it was gorgeous, too, the picture in general that we found. Let's see here. Let me pull this up. Full-size image. Let you guys take a look at it. Oh, another ad there. Let me back it out just a tad. All right, Phobos. Bam. Jupiter, Saturn. So that's the one, two, three. I guess those are stars. I guess that's what they're saying here. There's Vesta and there's the, uh, I don't even know how to say that, Ceres? Ceres, I, I would say probably. But I will leave this link as well, guys. Much love to you. I hope you're doing good. I got a whole bunch of videos to make. I tell you what, this weekend I'm going to try and make a bunch of them. I think I'm coming down with strep throat or something. I tell you what. Um, it's going around the East Coast here. Um, a lot of people I know have been sick. Just even, you know, our guy over uh, Mars Unmasked, he was, he's was he been sick too. I think that's who had had it. Um, San Santo over there. But anyways, guys, much love to you. Hope you're doing good. Like I said, all you got to do is go sign up for the website at whatsupinthesky.com. And uh, there's the register button on there. Just register. Basically sign up for the site. Let me show you how to do it real quick. Register. Bam. Click the register button when you get to the website. It's going to take you to here, and basically when you get this, uh, this caption could come up here, all you're doing is see how the picture up there is of the, uh, the little house. So basically you just assemble the little house. So we've got one. And I do this because we have a whole bunch of wonderful Chinese hackers that come in and try and, see, bam, 
try and do our uh, stuff. And all you have to do is put this information in right here, the email address. I'll email whoever wins, and uh, it'll be up to you guys to get back to me. If you want to leave your phone number too, you can. That's optional. You know, it's up to you, your address. You can do all that stuff if you want. So much love, guys. Good luck to you. 10,000. Hopefully it won't be too long. We'll be pulling that name. Right now I think we have about maybe 150 uh, registered people on here right now. So your odds are good. Go sign up. Take it easy. Peace.